So first of all, thanks uh, for inviting me to have a great chance to discuss about lesbian arts in Korea. I personally wrote about uh, homosexual in art in some way. This uh, paper relates to my personal experience too. But um, anyhow, we are real, uh, we have to really uh, rush to to meet up the time, the limits. Okay. The title of my paper is Different Unis Coming, Project L, Lesbian, the first exhibition of lesbian arts in Korea. Here I need to explain a little bit about the title. The Unni is elder sister in Korea. And it, uh, I got this title uh, as a kind of reactions against the uh, Unni's back, another the big survey exhibition of feminist art in 2008 in Korea. It's somehow the exhibition catalog mentions about the post-feminism, but like, you know, how success of feminist artists and like uh, big presence of feminist artists in Korea. And we certainly exhibition does not include the lesbian artists in Korea. So that's the really beginning point that I got this paper as well as the titles coming from the different on this coming. How has the issue of sexuality, particularly female homosexuality, been treated by various feminist organizations and groups in Korea? How might one characterize the relationship between queer theory and identity politics of some lesbian artists over recent decades? In order to answer these questions, the study takes up the example of Project L Lesbian 2005, the first exhibition organized by self-proclaimed female homosexual and bi bisexual artists in Korea. This paper traces the preparatory phase of Project L from May 2004 until its opening in June 2005, dealing with the controversy that uh, led to its cancellation as part of the Rogan Festival, a popular feminist event held at Korean universities. I'll also contrast the dominant theoretical stances of feminist artists and creators in Korea with those of Project L team. The predicament that the Project L team has uh, during the process of organizing the exhibition sheds light upon the ambivalent editor toward the feminist, lesbian sexual politics found within feminist organization in Korea. Another important aspect of social attitudes toward the fem female homosexuality in Korea is what the Project L team has called, quote, the intentional indifference of the society in the catalog. Um, indeed, within feminist organizations, in art world in Korea, the most common reaction toward the female homosexuality or bisexuality has been silence. According to Michel Foucault, things that one is forbidden to name are at least the indicator of the absolute limit of discourse, quote, we must to try to determine the different ways of not say such things, how those who can and those who cannot speak of them are distributed, which type of discourse is authorized, or which form of discretion is required in either case. While Foucault is primarily concerned with the silence as important strategy adopted by people who are usually classified as a sexually perverse or abnormal, he also notes, quote, there is not one but many silences, quote, such an understanding of silence will be of special, special importance in decoding the common reactions toward the feminist, female homosexuality uh, inside feminist organizations, study groups, and feminist-oriented curatorship. So let's move to slide. Uh, the exhibition Project L team was initially, uh, Project L was initially planned as a part of Rogan Festival in August 2004. The annual working festival, meaning the menstruation festival, began in 1999 and is held at various universities with the aim of uh, promoting positive image of the natural female body and female sexuality. The festival is composed of men and free sections. Uh, in main section, performance artists, dancers, and pop singers were invited, whereas in free section, members of a canvas community share their stories and perception related to menstruation and other sexual matters in sight. The exhibition plan for lesbian arts to be included in the main event was Cancer Hiver. After a series of debates and conflicts between the Rogan Festival Committee and the exhibition team, just a week before the opening of the exhibition and two weeks before the opening of the entire festival, the exhibition team issued the document, quote, anti-feminism and homophobia, quote, which presented the argument that the difference between the groups would not be nego could not be reconciled. Immediately after this uh, conflict, the festival committee 
and the exhibition team updated their statement on the Onionet, one of the major cyber networks for feminists and feminist sympathizers in Korea. According to the members committee, the two weeks before the opening, they had not been provided with the detailed information about the exhibition. Until the meeting, the committee had a very vague idea about the exhibition, understanding only that it will include lesbian-related arts, nor, not that it be just about lesbian artists and arts. The committee's response, in a way, may reflect an unavoidable gap between the art world and non-art world that develops when certain terms, procedures, and practice common within the art world are not easily communicated to persons outside of the art profession. However, the more important, the more important aspects of festival committee's response was assertion that the scope of the exhibition might not be consistent with the festival's uh, annual theme, uh, a symptom before the work young. This response appeared absurd to the exhibition team, however, especially considering the committee's initial statement that anything that can represent or be involved with the feminist stance, it would be fine. The problem based upon the reading of the document might seem to rest upon the theme itself, the first exhibition of lesbian arts in Korea. The festival committee initially advised the exhibition team to use a more oblique phrases such as sisterhood or sisterly love. Therefore, the committee's members' openness toward anything involved with a feminist stance did not seem to include the issue of female homosexuality. In previous working festival, various efforts have been made to encourage more positive perception. And here's a, the more, uh, here's a free events, and then you're supposed to write about your personal experience. And uh, it actually, it, it looks like art, artistic work, but main intention is not really create the really arty artistic work. And this is alternative uh, homemade menstruation pad. Uh, and one aspect of it is to educate the people about the hazardous effects of commercially produced uh, the menstruation pad. And, and you get all uh, explanation of a menstruation cycles uh, and a staff member to ex try to explain to the males and uh, this thing. Okay. In 2004, the festival introduced special exercises and gymnastic movements to elevate the complications related to menstruation. In 2005, participant, participants were invited to try at herbs and other natural remedies used for, for the protection of the women's vagina during the period. Traditional medical knowledge was thought to appear to the public due to its familiarity, popularity, as well as scientific reliability. To reiterate, to reiterate, the Working Festival was intended to combine feminist ideas with the methods that appear to wider public, irrespective of age and gender. The difficult relationship between lesbian artists and the Working Committee partly stemmed from gender politics deeply rooted in the idea of women's biological body. To make matters worse, traditional medical knowledge relying upon the dual principle of yin and yang affirmed the rigid binary between the femininity and masculinity. In terms of the contradictions involved with the festival committee's openness toward anything related to a feminist stance, one instance deserved a particular attention. When the exhibition team and the committee finally visited the exhibition site on August 19, 2004, one festival, one, uh, festival step member argued that the artist should be least sensitive about their possible coming out. Quote, People will probably not recognize the identity of artists merely based upon the appearance of the artwork. Don't you think you're overreacting? Quote, this remark was in response to the lesbian artist's expression of fears of, about vandalism. Although the intellectual environment of Kangkuk University was in many ways ideal for introducing new ideas, the artists were concerned that the works installed in an open space might be the target of homophobic reactions by some university students. The artists, therefore, face an important disclosure dilemma related to sexual identity, whereas the festival step members, who were least mindful of this uh, dilemma, went on to suggest that keeping artists' actual names and, and identity undisclosed. How the working festival committee uh, tried to underplay the sexual lives of lesbian artists points to a common situation facing lesbians in various feminist organizations in Korea. According to Counselor for Lesbian, um, uh, 
and also the author of the article, Lesbian Wandering in the Double Space, 2007, who serve as a counselor for lesbian research organization in Korea. Many feminist groups and organizations have classified same-sex relationship as entirely personal matter. In the feminist study groups that one of her clients attended, uh, members frequently applied double standards when it came to matters related to homosexuality. They consider her client's intimate life with her partner to be strictly private, whereas the stories of heterosexual couples, either in private or as represented in the media, were considered normal and familiar. The distinction between the private public, as the author argues, is still rooted in the heterosexual system, while this distinction in the minds of lesbian and other sexual minority still generate a fantasy of a safe space. This incident tests the feminist ambivalence towards lesbian exposure of sexual orientation. As was the case with the girl who sought counseling with the author, most feminists encourage lesbian collects to come out. However, once their identities are revealed, feminists often begin applying different rules to force lesbian collects to remain silent. The project aid team's plan of having a separate exhibition at Levis Mar and making the name lesbian conspicuous in the context working festival and this become in this context become more controversial. And then I move to uh, the actual exhibition and, and uh, especially contrasting its, uh, its own uh, Project L Tim's exhibition along with uh, some of the dominant posts of feminist uh, curatorship in Korea. Almost nine months after the, its conflicts with the working festival, the exhibition Project L finally opened in June, June 2005 at the Gallery Escape located in the Hongwook, Hongwook University area. The number of participating artists had increased from five to 10 during that period. The controversy related to Project L did not attract significant attention in the artwork, partly due to some lesbian artists' fear of exposure to, to critics and other feminist artists. The overall consensus within the exhibition team was not to seek out for media attentions other than articles published in feminist-related uh, magazines as might bring adversarial effects on artists who have been active in other collaborative projects and group shows in Korea. At first, those in the art world might appear to have more open-minded attitude toward the queer theories and gender ambiguity compared to some of the feminist activists and working festival committee as the 1990s progressed, the feminist curators and artists came to take critical stances toward the character of women itself, mostly influenced by Foucault's critique of knowledge as a means of classifying and controlling individuals deemed inferior, perverse, and potentially dangerous by established institutions of government, culture, med uh, medical practice, and so on. For instance, Hong Hee Kim, the organizer of three major feminist exhibitions in Korea, Women, Their Difference and Power in 1994, and the second exhibition is Parade of Pachi 1999, and most recently, Unnews Back 2008, challenge a restrictive definition of women. So this is the first exhibition. Uh, there is a women's art, and then some of the exhibition of women's art in Korea before 1990s, but uh, oftentimes that some of the women's art in 1980s much more focused on the social inequity um, a drawing out of the Marxist tradition. This is the first exhibition that might more focus on the gender issue. And as you can see, is uh, you can see more like influence of Judy Chicago type of artworks. Uh, but I want to highlight some of the shifting conditions and approach during the uh, Parade of Pachi in 1999. This is the exhibition where this quote's coming from. And this is a Suja Kim's work in uh, uh, also included in the 1999 exhibition. In Sex and Gender section, she wrote for the 99 exhibition, The Parade of Pachi, Kim, the curator, contrasts the concept of gender and sex. They, new feminist critics and artists, embracing semiotic psychoanalysis to constructionist theory, focus on the fact that the notion of femininity is also socially and historically determined. Therefore, they choose the method of performance, simulacra, myth, and parody as a way of redefining female sexuality, highlighting the concepts of gender over, over biological sex. Kim's interpretation of recent developments in feminist arts in Korea was of particular importance beginning in the mid-1990s among feminist artists and scholars. First, the socially constructed views of gender merged with the post-colonialist debates to position or reposition avant-garde practice uh, by Korean female artists in relation to international avant-garde, Western feminism, 
and stereotypical images of Asian women. Suja Kim in Bully, two prominent feminist artists in Korea who also appeared in Kim's sex and gender section, have pursued self images or female images that overcome gender as well as the cultural boundaries. A cyborg covered with a sleek and ethereal uh, armor defies the stereotypical images of the passive, obedient, oriental woman while challenging the distinction between Eastern and Western cultures, a colonizer and colonized. And this uh, figure has also very much robotic, so it's on the one hand imp impenetrable, but at the same time you can see the very sexual lies, uh, the, the appearances, as well as uh, uh, some of the cyborg images in relation to comic books. The comic books of Reddy itself is very hybrid, um, the culture forms. Uh, second, so the, the whole discussion actually opened not just about the femininity, but also the different issues of dis uh, culture distinction and East and West and the future or present and machine and human being. Second, and more importantly, for a discussion of gender ambiguity, the category of femininity or women as the major target of criticism brought a new recognition of inconsistent relationship between the biological traits of the body and the categorical distinction of identity, at least within the context of our museum. Ji Young Kim's video work, Yeo Jang Gung Sek, is composed, it's 1999, is composed of 60 modern images that include not only biologically female bodies, but also transgender bodies and bodies of drag queens. The images include a female body that retains the remnants of thick, manly and lengthy body hair of drag queens. Despite the more sophisticated ways of explaining the relationship among the body, identity, and the self, the influence queer theory and its skeptical approach toward identity remains, especially from the perspective of self-proclaimed lesbians inimical to identity politics. On the one hand, queer theory combined the category of homosexuality with gender, ethnicity, race, and class, acknowledging multiple aspects of individual identity. On the, on the other hand, undermining the traditional notion of identity could present the danger of ignoring the rare and persistent prejudice and homophobia that the female homosexual and bisexual must deal with. The issue of identity was one of the major concerns among the members of Project uh, this is the, the catalog of Anis back, uh, the survey exhibition in 2008. The issue of identity was one of the major concerns among the members of Project L. This is the first questioning of who and what we lesbians are in this society today. Quote, By avoiding one fixed lesbian identity, we attempt to revisit and support our changing faces and struggles in order to survive and get the power we deserve. Quote, According to the author of the introduction, lesbian identities exemplify a complicated notion rather than undermining the close relationship between the self and identity altogether. Quote, we acknowledge that the one standard answer regarding lesbian identity is difficult, if not impossible, the author notes, but quote, diverse lesbian representation can partly point to the answer to a lesbian identity. Their critical voice sounds less analytic than affirmative, as the exhibition was primarily intended to bring attention to women artists dealing with the theme of same-sex desire and fighting against consistent denial of female homosexuals in Korea abide within the various theoretical frameworks. In place of vague notion of queer identity, the section of exhibition called The Lesbian Sexuality Identity was designed to show artists who hope to relocate themselves within a single category E means L, uh, L in, that means L people, displays various women such as lesbian activists and transgender women living in the Netherlands. They all call L in, as though the term denotes a citizenship of which they are should, all should be proud of. Despite their diverse geographical locations and physical differences, they are all united under one name, lesbian people. Throughout the exhibition, artists took the dual approaches of advocating a powerful image of lesbians while portraying their socially alienated and marginalized condition. In the video projection, Elle in Wonderland, by the artist Perang, after following the rabbit, Alice becomes equipped with a kind of gaydar, a slang term for ability to recognize other homosexual or homosexual cultures. 
quote, once you find the watch of rabbit, your adventure begins. Simple things hiding in just cartoons, just drama, just advertisement, gradually appear and you begin to recognize them, quote. This work touches upon the epistemologic concern related to recognizing a usually overlooked lesbian sensibility within the normal environment. Seemingly ordinary things suddenly take a new cruel meanings. For instance, close female bonds among the royal women of Joseon dynasty and you can see this some of the women's with the <coughs> traditional wardrobe, as a fictionally portrayed in, um, in the drama, or the sisterhood shared among <coughs> schoolgirls in comic books. Alice's experience in the Wonderland, however, also reminds the viewer of emotional insecurity that many lesbians must endure. The audience is invited to identify with Alice, who do not proceed without do not only proceeds with alternative readings of homosexual culture, but also enters a state of confusion self-alienation and resistance. And this is the last work. Um, Nobody teaches me sexual education, self tour sex education. A work composed of serious shots of two women enjoying their moments of intimacy. It's captivating. As you showcase the image of two young females literally caressing each other, images of the drag queens dominating most of artworks dealing with the homosexual in Korea, whereas the image of actual lesbians engaging in sexual intimacy are rare. The shot of female couple confronts the viewer, defying the society's efforts to deny the presence of lesbian couples. The voice of the artist is also captivating. Artist's story goes back to the time when she actually fainted out at schools with her recognition a name of a desire. Quote, there is nowhere that one finds sex education for girls and girls, or for her and her. The text reads, it might be too late, but maybe not, my synthetic sex education. Accompanying text and artist statement published in the catalog and posted at an exhibition helped the audience to ponder a few questions that the non-homosexual audience is worth posing. The History Project Elton provides us with the clues regarding the difficult circumstances in which lesbian artists have found themselves within feminist organization, as well as the context of feminist arts, art, it's arts in Korea. So here, here I will go back to the Han, the, 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 uh, the author of the article that I mentioned before. According to the, as who also serve as a council of lesbian uh, research organization in Korea. According to Han, people who refuse to discuss homosexual in public are essentially saying, quote, I don't personally mind homosexuality, but if they are coming out, might disrupt social decorum, then their acts of coming out should be reconsidered. This obscure and detour way of saying no to homosexual in Korea corresponds to the dynamics between what has been said and unsaid, as Foucault has pointed out. Both working festival committee and the feminist curators in Korea have decided ways of detaching themselves from discourses about female homosexuality without directly exposing their discomfort or with lack of understanding about women with same-sex desire. Therefore, presenting the image of L people, L in, the quote, these omnibus women exist everywhere, to paraphrase the description in the catalog, has, significant, has a significant meaning to fight against a state of silence. That is the strategy taken by mainstream society, particularly by some feminist activists, and artwork to deliberately undermine the presence of lesbian arts in Korea. Thank you. <laughs>